JTEMP is a polymerizable temporary material that has a little bit of a pinkish tint to it. It's nice because it doesn't require an adhesive to be placed. It's self-leveling. It's something that has a little bit of shrinkage, but not much. It's a resin that isn't really affected by peroxide, so it can be used with walking bleach. There's almost no oxygen inhibition layer to it. The first time I started thinking about JTEMP, I was doing a root canal on a maxillary molar. And the, the lingual cusp, the mesolingual cusp, had completely fractured below the gingiva. And I was just really struggling to get isolation before I irrigated the canals. So believe it or not, I went and I did a lot of ortho at the time and I took one of our ortho products and I used it to act as a barricade for irrigants, but also to help support the cusps that were there before I put a clamp on and it worked out really well. I thought about doing some composite and bonding, but when you get down below the gingiva and you try doing etch and then adhesive and everything and this is newly fractured, you're just not gonna get in isolation. I wanted something I could place and, and leave. So that was kind of the first the first indication that it would be nice to have something different. It started um, with there always being a need for something that didn't exist. The more I started using it for different niches that weren't covered, the more I found this is really nice to have one product that can cover a gamut of different needs versus five or six different materials that may expire before you use them next. If anybody's had to move a dental office, you'll find out it's 10 times worse than moving a home. There are so many different products that are just have one indication for what it can be used for. Although I started with, with the molar situation for, for a barrier for irrigants, I started thinking what can be used to solve these other problems and still cover all of those situations that I, I was struggling with. The more we started playing with the chemistries and the viscosities of the JTEMP, the more we found, you know what, this is going to work for a gamut of things. We don't have to have multiple different chemistries to do that. So when I graduated uh, dental school, my dad had said, hey, Jay, I can't, I can't see this patient. I need you to go in and make a, a temporary, you know, for this implant that was placed on tooth number seven. And, you know, it's going to, I'm traveling, so it's going to take, you know, a few weeks to get the final restoration back in. I'm like, no problem, Dad, I got this. I made the most beautiful temporary. I mean, I was so proud of myself, right? So I took a picture of it, and I sent it to my dad, and he's like, oh, Jay, what did you do? He didn't come back for seven years. It looked too good. So Jay Temp is pink because we want just a subtle reminder to the patients that this is still just a temporary restoration, that they need to get back into their doctor and get the final restoration placed. But for the doctor, it's also a color that will allow them to determine what's temporary, what's tooth structure, so that they know all of the temporary is removed before they do the final restoration. I think I'm just lucky enough to be in an environment where we can kind of tinker and play and, and get those innovations out. There's always problems to be solved. I think dentistry from one patient to the next is, is a little bit different. So just solving problems all day long seems to be what we're, we're about.